Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org. Coming to you this Wednesday morning, November 2nd. We are looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ES and SPY. So what's happening right now? <clears throat> the answer is absolutely nothing. This looks like, uh, talk about being in a holding pad, and this looks like Newark Airport when no, none of the planes can land because all the gates are filled. Well, that's what we're at right now. We are certainly in a holding pattern. We did have a double distribution day uh, to the downside yesterday, although we did have a wide point of control. We have another wide one overnight. Instead of talking about game plan for right now, we'll go over that briefly. Here's the more important thing to talk about. We do have the Fed at 2 o'clock. I still think uh, they're going to raise 75 basis points. I think that's pretty much expected by everybody. I think what people are looking at is his, is his tone, his rhetoric about going forward. And I think a lot of people are anticipating somewhat of a softer stance that maybe, whether it's um, December or next, uh, the first meeting next year, that they start easing a bit and maybe go down to 50 basis points or even only 25. So they're going to be looking for that in his press conference this afternoon. If he reiter if he gives the market what it wants, we might continue and come out of balance because we are in balance on the daily now. Even right, it's an outside day down, but it's balance. Then we could come out of this balance to the upside and again maybe continue to grind up until the election uh, next Tuesday, which again I think people have anticipated of the Republicans uh, taking taking over where we'll have gridlock in the uh, in the government which the market would like. So the market's anticipating these things. Whether they get it or not, it's a different story. So look, we talk about this all the time. We're never going to be faster than an algorithm. We have to be smarter. We have to be smarter than our competition. We always talk about that. Come 2 o'clock, 2.30, okay, it's going to be an absolute shit show of just algorithms and retail traders just trying to, you know, pick a side. It's a coin flip, right? You want 3 to 1 on your trades, basically. Do you want a coin flip? Now, you want to put... Uh, orders in at very visual areas, pretty much far away from where the market's trading. So if you do get uh, hit or taken, you not you know you don't mind taking that, and you have a stop then at the uh, you know somewhere at those levels. If you're wrong, that's one thing. But to just get involved, say inside of yesterday's range when they're just going all over the place, again, that's a coin flip. Be my guest if you want to do that. I trade for a living. So uh, I need, I need um, an advantage on my side. I need to be able to read what this market is attempting to do. Uh, as far as the overnight high right now, 386.14 and SPY, 383.60 is the low. Now, again, I said to the room, are we going to hold this trend day um, prior to 2 p.m. today? I don't know, right? I still don't know. We have a wide overnight pock. We had a wide pock yesterday. Right now, look where we've been trading all night in the lower distribution. So we'll see what happens. Is the market getting short now on the daily time frame from both yesterday and now this morning? I'm just going to say, yeah, it is. So if, if they can't start getting um, acceptance below yesterday's low, what's going to happen to all these people who are shorting it? They're going to give it up, right? Do you want to go into 2 o'clock short prior to the Fed? Probably not. Right now, they're comfortable. Why are they comfortable? Well, they have single prints above them. They had a trend day yesterday. So they're comfortable now. They know they have some time. But if they can't start getting below yesterday's low and getting paid, then at some point, I would think they give it up. And then there is a chance to fill this trend day. So as far as your game plan, real early, can you take a short against F's high and the overnight high? Of course you can. Sure you can. Above that, then you have to decide how much heat you want to take. I don't think you want to take the heat all the way up to the single print fill. So maybe you get out, and if they start running shorts, you start seeing then if you want to take one more short play, say against A's high, which would also, uh, A's low, I'm sorry, which would also be right around 3,900. That's not a bad short either if it was to get up there, because all this would be short covering, plain and simple, prior to 2 p.m. All it would be is short covering. So that's one. Th those are two short plays, one against here and one against the single print fill. As far as long, Right in here, there's nothing. They can chop themselves up all they want all morning. If it pulls back, though, you can take a long against the overnight low and against yesterday's low. Then I would be out below yesterday's low. If they can't get any uh, um, acceptance below it, though, then again, I'd look to fade it to come back in and then see if shorts get taken out prior to 2 p.m. All real nice early plays. And then on the chart, here's a daily. It's a six-day balance. 
right? The monthly is balanced now. The weekly is still up. The daily is balanced. So again, how are we going to come out of this balance? Do they like what the Fed has to say and we come out of balance back up, right? Because since we made our low for the year, what have we done? We've gone up, balance, up, balance. If they like what the Fed has to say, we might go back up and at some point threaten those lower highs. If they don't get what they want out of the Fed, well, then we can come out of balance to the downside and now officially have our third lower high. Doesn't get any better or simpler than that. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Good luck trading today and we'll recap at 4 p.m.